Today, we're going to go through how you can automate your SEO keyword research in make.com. So this whole build doesn't require any coding or anything like that. And basically what it will do is it will take your keyword ideas. If you have a few of them, it will get Google autocomplete. So this is when you type into Google and Google gives you suggestions on other keywords or other terms you could be searching for. We take all of those and get ChatGPT to turn it into actual content ideas. So things like tutorials, guides, all that sort of stuff. Now you could use this for your own business. If you're looking to rank on Google, or we can do it for a customer as well. Generally speaking though, if you are doing it for a customer, they will likely have more advanced needs. So you may need to integrate a tool like Hrefs or SAMrush for more detailed information on keyword search volumes and that sort of stuff. But for today, we're going to keep it relatively simple. We have our Google sheet that tracks some our keyword ideas. We'll get the Google autocomplete ideas here and then pass it into ChatGPT for some content ideas and send them back into the Google sheet. So I'm going to start from scratch so we can do this together. So first we start with Google sheets and you will need watch new rows. Basically, what we're going to do is connect this to a spreadsheet. Uh, that has a number of different keyword ideas in it. So I'm just going to set that up now. Yep. So I just set up an empty spreadsheet. Now keyword ideas. Now what I need to do is come back into make.com and just select the relevant spreadsheet. Cool. So I've selected the right one now. Let's run it one more time. And cool. We've got our first keyword marketing software. So what we're going to do next is use the Dumpling AI autocomplete module. And we're just going to pass in the search query, which is the keyword. And if I run this one more time, we are none coming in. So choose where to start. Let's just choose all again. You'll see that we have all the autocomplete options. So marketing software, marketing software for small business, marketing software platforms, all this sort of stuff. So, so the problem is now these are all in different bundles. So what we want to do is to combine them into one text string so that we can insert it into our ChatGPT prompt. So for that, I'm going to use the text aggregator module. So the source module will be dumpling AI and the text will just be the values of what we're getting out of it. So I'll press OK here. If I come back here, I can sort of just double check that I am doing it correctly. Um, so text aggregator, so I've separated it there. But even if I didn't, it's not the end of the world. I'll add that in, in a second. But I'm going to come over here and just talk through the prompt a little bit first before I implement it myself. So the prompt is, you are a content strategist. Your task is to analyze a list of Google autocomplete suggestions and generate content ideas. Organize the suggestions into categories such as how to guides, to diet plans, fitness tips, and recommendations. For each category, suggest two to three specific content ideas that could be used. And then we've just passed in the autocomplete suggestions, and then we get it to respond with content ideas. Now, there's lots of ways we could improve this. So as an example, right now all we're doing is just using the autocomplete suggestions to generate uh, content ideas, but as an example, maybe what we want to do instead is take one keyword and turn it into more keywords. In that case, we don't, wouldn't need ChatGPT. We would just take the outputs from Dumpling AI and put it back into the Google sheet. So I might implement that one quickly first before we come back to this actually. So if I delete this module here, got these different modules and all I need to do is insert Google sheet again, and uh, we're just going to add rows back into the sheet that we had. So I'm going to select the spreadsheet again, select the sheet, and we're just going to say, add in the value like that. So now if I run this one more time, I will need to choose where to start all again. So which is this one more time, we should get the 10 different, yeah, keywords coming into here. So this is if you want to build up that list of keywords, but as I said at the beginning, that's not really our goal, right? We're, to claim, we're aiming to turn the keywords into content ideas. So what we're going to do is again, drag in that text and then again. Source module is dumping in AI. Value, show some advanced settings. And we're going to separate, but comma, 
and that should be good. And now we're just going to use our ChatGPT module to generate content ideas. So create a completion. I'll just keep this prompt super simple in case you want to tweak it yourself. So I'll be tweak something super simple, right? You are a content specialist. Please draft a content brief for a blog post. The keywords we are targeting car, and we can just put in keywords that we got. So obviously, if you if you actually are a serious specialist, there's a number of problems with doing something like this directly. But just wanted to give you an idea of what's possible, right? So potentially, instead of combining the keywords, you would do this for each individual keyword individually. In which case, you would not need the text aggregator. But again, like what I want to show you with these tutorials is because you're building it yourself in a no-code platform like make.com, you can customize it exactly how you want. So that's a benefit of something like this compared to buying an off-the-shelf solution, right? With an off-the-shelf solution, you're sort of locked into how they've implemented their software. Or with something like this, you can sort of do exactly what you want. Cool. So let's do this and let's have a look at what the output looks like. So I'm going to actually just delete these extra keywords so we don't run them all. Choose when to start and just pick that first keyword again. And if I run this now, this ChatGPT module should then give me a pretty good content brief. And once we just verify that this is all working, the final step is really just to save it back into our Google Sheet. We come back here, you can have a look at our output. Got a content brief, understanding marketing software for small businesses. So, uh, uh, yeah, got a nice little brief here, not bad. And yeah, so final step for us is really just to save this back into the Google Sheet. Now, again, as I said before, you might not want to save the content brief, right? You might want to use the content brief to then generate the actual blog post. I have several videos on how you generate blog posts in make.com using AI. So feel free to watch those if you want to learn how to do that. But you can save the content brief, you can save your blog post, you can save generated images back into the sheet, sort of whatever you want. So this one, we're just going to update a row and just save the content brief back here. So I'm going to select the spreadsheet again. So we've got to choose the sheet and the row number is just what we've passed in from the beginning. And I'm just updating the content brief with what ChatGPT has given me. Cool. So now if I then restart it from beginning, so I just run it as if it's pulling in everything, it's going to run through again. But this time, once it finishes running, we should see the new content brief pop up in our Google Sheets. So let me make this a bit wider in preparation. There we go. And generally you want to make this wrapped so you can actually read it. But there we go. Now we have, we have our keyword and then we have the content brief. And now beauty of this, right, is it's automation. So whether it's one keyword or hundred keywords, you just need to press one button, right? You just need to press run. If you're doing this manually, one keyword, maybe not too bad get to 10, 20, 50, 100 keywords, it starts to take you days, right? So automation really is aimed at those high volume tasks or repetitive tasks that end up using up a lot of your time or your team's time. So you can sort of invest a little bit of effort and time to build an automation like this and save a lot of time in the long run. But yeah, that's basically it for this tutorial. As I sort of mentioned throughout the video, these automations are really for you to take away and make your own. Every business and every process is slightly different. If you're interested in a written version of this tutorial, I'll leave a link in the description as well as a link to the template, to this blueprint, if you want to download this and play with it yourself. But if you have any thoughts or comments, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll see you.